Hi everyone, Nick here from the Trevian Legends team. Welcome to Ask Trevian, where we answer the most asked questions from the community. First of all, let's briefly talk about the hot topic of the month, Trevian Shadow Empires. I'm very curious to know which factions did you pick? I'm personally channeling my inner marauder. Well, whatever faction you choose, I hope you are enjoying this new feature. And this month's topic is um, somewhat connected to an annual special. It was back in 2017 with Trevian Fire and Sand that we first had the pleasure to meet the Huns and the Egyptians. Last month, we talked about the Huns, one of the most aggressive and ferocious tribes. Now, it's time to give some space to someone a bit more quiet and pacific, the Egyptians. As usual, a little disclaimer about these tribe-focused episodes. With this short series, we want to highlight the differences between the tribes to facilitate the decision-making process when mainly new players decide to register to the game. It's definitely something you want to share with new members of your alliance. Before we start, don't forget to activate the subtitles in the options, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little notification bell so that you'll never miss another video of us again. And now, let's talk about the Egyptians. Egyptians tend to cover a supportive role. Does it mean they are good for new players? Egyptians are actually much trickier than you would assume. So the answer is not necessarily. The tribe can be an invaluable asset to the hands of an experienced player. Their insane amount of crop production is a strategic tool that takes time to master and it requires very sharp and competitive mindset. They are pretty strong in defense, so new players might feel a bit more protected by choosing Egyptians, but we would recommend to first pick goals and then maybe pick Egyptians after a few rounds. So what are their strengths? The three keywords when it comes to Egyptian strengths are defense, economy, and infrastructure. When you start a game world as an Egyptian, you will quickly realize that you are able to create a pretty big army in no time. Their units are generally cheap and fast to train, plus their impressive crop production won't let your soldiers starve so easily. Talking about crops and resources, their economy is flourishing thanks to two main factors, the Egyptian hero and the waterworks. The Egyptian hero is able to contribute with the double resource production which will definitely give you a big boost from the very beginning. But the most powerful tool is 100% their special building, the waterworks. This amazing infrastructure increases the bonus of the oasis that are connected to the village in which the waterworks are built. If you are considering to make use of this advantage, keep in mind that you first need to build your hero's mansion up to level 10 and you need to have at least one oasis connected to the village. So what are their weaknesses? Due to its supportive role as a tribe, Egyptians need to rely on a strong and organized alliance to make full use of their resource advantages. If you're not able to get your hands on a good spot for your capital, then you might feel somewhat limited in what you can achieve. Have you ever had that feeling when you were playing with the Egyptians? What about specific units? The slave militia is the cheapest unit with the shortest production time in the game. Sounds awesome, right? Well, all their glitters ain't gold. They are not particularly strong if you compare them to defensive units of other tribes. And most importantly, they are pretty hungry for crops. So your alliance members might not like you that much if you station them in their villages for too long. The Reshef chariot is well versed in all fields of combat. They pack a heavy offensive punch as well as a very solid defense against infantry. Though, what you really need them for is defending against cavalry, since Egyptians are pretty weak at that. Unfortunately, they are also very costly to train and consume plenty of crop. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to leave your suggestions down below in case we missed something. This time, we won't reveal the topic of the next episode because we would like to turn it into a contest. What do you want us to talk about? Leave your suggestions in the comments below and if your comment gets picked by our team, we will send you a super cool Trevian Legends t-shirt. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, blog, forum and Discord server for all Trevian news. As always, happy raiding everyone!